Hello, hello. This is going to be the last palette review probably in a while. Um, hopefully you've kept up with just a quick life update that I'm currently in the process of moving. We have so many boxes around the house right now. I think we have like 30 boxes already packed and I need to go buy more. Um, I haven't fully put away all my makeup yet, but I need to start boxing up all my makeup. So this is the last uh, palette review you'll see in a while until I possibly get settled down. Um, hopefully there'll still be some shorts set up can keep up with, but this is the last palette and I'm so happy that, you know, this is... I got distracted, I'm sorry. So, <laughs> anyways, I'm really excited that I was able to do this palette last because I was so surprised by this palette. This is the Huda Beauty Rose Quartz palette. I think it's been out for about a year now. This very simplistic kind of packaging, and I'm sure, I'm sure everyone has seen this palette, because I think it did cause some waves when it first came out. You can see all the ingredients here on the back, and this is a very pink palette. So I was interested because I saw this in person, I think at a Sephora, and I did not expect it to be so beautiful in person. So when I saw it in person at the Sephora, I was like, whoa, I feel like I have to get that palette. Even though it's a palette I usually would have just ignored, I did get this palette. Um, I think I might have even gotten it on sale, but let me check that out. So it looks like I was able to get this palette for $41.40, which I'm pretty sure is a sale price. I think this usually runs for more than $60, maybe even like $69. I'm sorry, I can't remember the price exactly, but I definitely got a deal on this for $40. It is so pretty on the outside. I love the design. It is so unique. You will not... It, it makes it so distinguishable. You cannot like think this is any other palette palette does lay flat so that's very nice it also um i think holds oh no it doesn't it doesn't really hold so actually it does not but it does lay flat so that makes it, i think very easy to hold in your hands or lay it on the um, table there is a mirror in here if you're interested in a mirror and this is the actual palette and i think looking at the outside you expect this palette to be a completely just kind of pink fantasy and in a lot of ways it is but it's really not. There is so much variety in this palette than I was ever expecting. There are so many looks I created from this palette I did not think I was going to make. I was trying to make a pink look and I ended up with a purple look. Like, <laughs> there's so much variety in here. Way more than I was expecting. These kind of, like, flaky, sparkly duochromes are absolutely amazing and completely elevated the looks. I like the kind this kind of weird gel gloss thing is very interesting it's taking a risk I think it's fun it's it's been a while since I've been able to really take a risk and have fun with makeup so this is such a great like addition to my collection I'm really happy with this palette I can't wait to try more Huda Beauty but this is so nice so I want to start by swatching what I think is one of the most interesting shades in here, which is this kind of gloss that you see here with like pearls in it. It's very interesting. I know everyone wants to even know what this is like, but essentially from what I read, this is kind of like a gloss and glow kind of thing where you can, it's a very light, glossy, shiny color. And either you put this on your eye directly or you can't put some eyeshadow down, but it's meant to be very fast, just kind of a glazed kind of look, a little bit more demure <laughs> and just not so pizzazz, but just kind of like, I want to put something on my eyes, but I need it to be done really quick. So if anything, you might lay some eyeshadow down where you won't, but the idea of this gloss is just to do a very quick eye, to just get it done, no brushes, maybe just your finger, which, um, is something I'm going to talk about because these shades, anything that's not a matte in this palette, I had difficulty picking up with a brush, but looked amazing when applied to the finger. With a finger, I mean. So this palette, personally, I mean, I don't know how everyone else's brushes work, but if you're looking at using the shimmer shadows, the duochromes in this palette, I do suggest using a finger. It didn't really pick up on my brush at all. So with a finger is the way to go. It did make applying things a little bit more difficult, but there was payoff using my finger. And that's the only reason I was okay with using my finger because it is worth it. Another thing about this palette is that we have, I would say it is these three that are kind of, they are basically duochromes and they are amazing. You, saw, you recently saw me doing some shorts with some of these eye looks from this palette and I do show off the palette and they are so stunning. A shade like this, and I've said this before, I absolutely adore a kind of brown-red base with a blue 
shimmer so pretty this to me is the true like cotton candy palette the shades the way that they apply the way they look this on my skin is what makes this for me my cotton candy palette when i'm thinking about these pale pretty pink and blues baby blues baby pinks this is the palette for that it is so pretty it's so shiny absolutely adore i love these I know it's an overused word, like these grungy pinks, crunchy browns, these purples, these purple gray browns. They're so hard to describe. They're so pretty. I think these marbled shades here were a little bit more uh, subdued. So a little bit disappointing, but not, not too awfully so. They're still pretty. They're more kind of like metallics. Still very nice, but not as obviously shiny because these are more metallic based. So if you don't want a super shimmery eye, you can still get some light pink shimmers and that's just part of that as well. You can definitely see how these are more metallic and these are just balls to the wall shimmer. So freaking pretty. I really, really liked using the mattes in here. Um, per usual though, however, this light pink, a light pink like this doesn't really work for me very well. I think I can work with it. But it definitely is my least favorite color in here just because it is a little bit too light. It kind of disappeared a little bit when I tried to apply it. But I think if I kept working at it, I could make it work. But like a shade like Precious and Aura and Gratitude are so pretty. These are so pretty. And I'll do Mantra as well because this is one of the darker shades in this palette. And it really helps to deepen the colors that are in here. I'm really happy and surprised with this palette. I liked these kind of simple looks I was able to do. And sorry that it looks like I've gotten shimmer everywhere. <laughs> these are not shimmery shades, but I wanted to show y'all. I don't think I clicked my fingers off properly. Sorry about that. That was my bad. But these are really nice mattes and they blend out very nicely. It feels like everything in this palette just kind of goes. And for the past week, I was able to really work out my cotton my pink cotton candy fantasy um i think i don't know if y'all were surprised as i was that i was able to do kind of like this gothy vibe look a little bit of an alt vibe look and i was not expecting that from a palette that is, is as girly and cutesy as this <laughs> but at the same time i was able to create just really girly pink fun looks i think this palette is so much more versatile than it might seem and I absolutely freaking recommend it. I had so much fun with this palette. I cannot wait to try more Huda Beauty palettes. This was so fun. I'm glad I was able to end my time here in Oregon with this palette. It is a gorge palette. I cannot wait to see what else Huda Beauty has in store for me.